everybody. So it's day two of our stay here in Bangkok. Uh, we're at our hotel. We went to Koh San Road last night. Um, got some fo footage of it and stuff like that, but didn't do any kind of like a recap when we got back because we were tired. We just kind of came home and chilled, watched some movies. But yeah, Koh San's fun. Um, definitely recommend checking it out. Lots of cool stuff to do there, um, especially if you're into like partying and clubbing and like that kind of nightlife thing. There's tons of that. It's like DJ battles across the street and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, but now it is breakfast time and we're going to go check out our hotel breakfast. <music> kinds of really good stuff. I got started out with a fruit bowl, but we're gonna try it. They do everything. Right. <laughs> So we are in uh, Old Town Bangkok right now. We are about to go to the Jim Thompson house. Uh, that's apparently the guy that is responsible for making uh, silk famous across the world. So we're pretty excited. Uh, we're gonna hail either a taxi or a grab. Not sure which one yet, uh, but yeah. Here is Ashley playing with the fish because this is what she does. We were having a moment. Oh, sorry to ruin it. I can't see him because of the glare. There he is. This place is beautiful. Um, it's mask required. You have to take a tour with a tour guide. Uh, our tour starts in two minutes, so we're gonna go meet the tour guide. They do tours in French and English. So we're gonna go check that out right now. our tour of the Jim Thompson house. It was about 400 baht for the two of us to go in, about a 45 minute tour. We'd have an English speaking guide, which was pretty awesome. Can't take a lot of video inside. We did get some pictures, which is cool. But other than that, we you kind of walk through the house, you learn a lot about not only just Thai culture and you know beliefs and things like that, but also about architecture, um, you know, the silk trade, this guy, Jim Thompson, and kind of his whole thing. Which is super interesting, he just disappeared in like 1967 in the middle of the Malaysian highlands. Uh, nobody knows why. But, um, and then at the end of the tour, there's kind of like a more of a museum type exhibit that has some information about him and his life, uh, as well as, you know, his work. And then there's like a really cool kind of like textile display, uh, as well as kind of a gift shop below. So you can pick up some things made by the Jim Thompson Silk Company currently. They seem to be a pretty popular fashion brand here, um, according to the Jim Thompson house. Yeah, so let's see what the rest of Sukhumvit has to offer. We're gonna go do some shopping. And
had to get this thing because it's just like the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. Uh, it's an ice cream shaped like a little cat wearing a mouse hat. Look at this thing. Yeah, it's, it's bizarre. Apparently it's charcoal ice cream. What does it say? It's charcoal ice cream, brownie ice cream. It's got brownie chunks. It's got all kinds of stuff. So we're going to try this thing right now. Like, I, I don't, almost don't want to eat it. It's like so well done. Should I eat it here first? effectively like a Japanese sharper image type store. Uh, it's pretty wild. Thank God, the mall game is on point. 